So I made a BCA, EAA, and glutamine icy. So they're just crushed ice, those three, some water, and I ninja'd it. Oh, it's like a delicious, healthy snow cone. So good. Hi guys. So, got my response from Coach back late last night. Um, so the last night we actually went to Ron White, which was awesome. So if you don't know the comedian Ron White, um, you're missing out in life. And I feel bad for you. Give me just a minute here, bear with the lighting. Trying to do about a thousand things at once. Um, anyway, so we finally went to Ron White last night, which was actually um, found out it was gonna be his retirement tour which is super cool um it was a reschedule from i feel like something is burning jesus prep brain is great um you forget everything including that you were grilling chicken two days in a row and successfully made chicken pucks which is not awesome to eat in case you're wondering and no nothing's burning it just Weird smells like it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Ah! Okay, so anyway, back to huh, the vlog. Here we go. Hi, hello, focus on, on you guys. Squirrel. <laughs> last night, winter on white. It was a reschedule from last year because shout out to Rona. But he was local to us, which is dope, but found out it was his retirement tour, which was even better, made it so much better, kind of bittersweet. Um, he's one of my favorite comedians. I super enjoy going to comedians, live stand-up, as long as they're good. Um, I'm kind of picky about what I like, but I like Ron White. And yeah, anyway, it was just really awesome. Nice little date night, got away, um, super chill. And yeah, so that was really good. And then, seriously, something is definitely, God, I feel like something is seriously burning in my house. I don't know. I'm just losing my mind. Um, and then I got coaches check-in during that. So I was able to listen to it afterwards and kind of go over a thing. And she sent me peak week protocols. So she sent me a peak week packing list, peak week food list, and um, some other protocols and stuff like that that I got to go over. Um, take my time going through, because like I said, my brain is like a squirrel. Write down the questions I have, and then we're going to have a FaceTime chat over it. Get the final details, everything cranked out, and I am pumped, okay? <laughs> so that was really good. Um, only thing that changed is we added five minutes to my post cardio uh otherwise meals stayed the same training foot stayed the same um everything stayed the same so that was really good uh i'm excited for my peak week foods and my show day foods because there's peanut butter and jelly on there Ooh. <laughs> but yeah so checking with coach went fantastic things are coming together oh Good, you guys. Ugh. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Uh, decent energy today. Not too much caffeine. Um, I think I'm just in a super good mood. So I have my friend's wedding or like reception because I had a destination wedding. So just a reception tomorrow, which means I have some out of town friends and my mom coming as well. So that'll be a really good weekend. Uh, oh, had a phone conversation with uh, one of the guys from FNX, and your girl got promoted to Elite. Ah! So thank you to everyone that supports me and uses the stuff that I promote, enjoys them, uses my code, goes to my link, all that awesome stuff. Um, you now also get 20% off all FNX, use my stuff. Um, the link is in my Instagram bio. I will try and maybe get that somewhere. I don't know how to do that, but my code is, I think it's still Cuffs15. 
um, and now gets you 20% off. So awesome. And if you're local, hit me up and I can now resell um, hands-on stuff. So if you're like super short and need something like right away, I got you. I got you. But yeah, so it was like really good. And I just had a really awesome, positive conversation with Daniel about it. And he just made me feel really good and that I'm like on the right track with things and that they like what I'm doing and just continue to be me and all of my awkward glory so you're welcome <laughs> all right i'm gonna stop rambling but i don't know what i'm gonna have for footage hopefully get some training footage i don't know uh maybe some stuff from the wedding i'm trying to think what else otherwise yeah it's kind of a super chill next week coming up keep pushing um strength took a little bit of a hit but i'm still grinding with the same weights my goal is to not drop any of my weights this whole prep which i really think is why my physique's looking the way it does because I'm just fucking pushing you guys pushing keeping that log book either consistent trying to beat it as much as i can whether that's weight or reps or whatever but just really trying to stay consistent and not have any excuses or drop anything or be a weak bitch <laughs> other than being a moody wonderful person but my spawn is awake so i need to get her snack i need to get my post-workout meal in i need to shower go to work for a little bit but yeah see you guys in the next one we're almost there thank you for sticking with me oh, okay bye I saw them at the uh, Intosh down in Cheryl even uh, at the Apple Orchard one weekend. Yeah. Just another like grip variation of the X caber pulls. So in mine, I had my wrist in a strap, um, which this was like a different seal, basically just different muscles, a little bit different angle. Um, Jess is just doing like a standard cable. <laughs> it's a lot easier to do if you don't have someone to strap you in. I'm um, still just murdering those rear delts.
<laughs> All right. So this will be this week's wrap up video. Iowa's weather is on some bull crap. It is rainy and cold and just super crappy. I'm a frosted couple days. So it's been in like 30s overnight. So yay. And if you don't already know, when you're in prep, you're already cold AF. 24 7 so mistakes were made oh my god I'm like a walking popsicle 90% of the time 99% of the time solid unless I'm in the tanning bed and then I'm so cozy but anyway so this week had a decent amount going on uh, my friend's uh, wedding reception was over the weekend so they had a destination wedding and then uh, they just finally had their reception and I was one of the bridesmaids. There was like 12 bridesmaids, I think 14 or 15 groomsmen. They had a huge wedding party. So it's a good thing they had a destination wedding, but it was still fun. Um, I mean, we all got like dresses, got our hair done, makeup done, nails, all that fun wedding stuff. Did some pictures. Um, I made sure I slammed water all day, had all my meals, planned out um everything and it was just it was a really good day and it also helped that they had just like cookies oh, wow. for their um dessert and then uh taco bar so there's like no temptation for me um I'm not real I don't know I'm hit or miss on like Mexican food or tacos so I was not upset about that at all um everyone loves cookies but it would have been a lot more I think like challenging for me if it was like wedding cake or something because I don't know what it is about wedding cake but that's just way better I don't know anyway uh on top of that though um we had some friends and family came and stayed for the weekend at my place and it was just really good it was super chill um we had like a day a Sunday we ended up all making breakfast together and it was just it was really fun it was good and it was super chill relaxed I got a lift in with my friend um, which we rarely get to do so that was fantastic um, yeah the only bummer to everything is my little has been sick so like pukey sick she's had a cough for um, a while which is like allergy related and whatever it's harvest where I live so it's just sucks um, but Saturday night at the reception dance she ended up puking we thought it was just um a flu because we tried changing her milk and a bunch of other stuff hashtag mom life and then she spent all day sunday puking and monday and tuesday so and i worked all of those days but monday um so that's been pretty stressful and just kind of a lot on my plate um but it's all right we started to manage so it's all good uh today's wednesday and she's finally as far as I know, keeping stuff down. So that's been really good. Uh, uh, family for sure has come in clutch. Um, my mom was already gonna come Thursday through I think Monday because it's Halloween this coming weekend. So she's coming for that stuff. Uh, but my grandma drove across the freaking state to be able to watch my mini during the day because obviously she can't go to daycare. And of course, this is the week that I work during the week so Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I also work on top of everything else so it's kind of been a lot um, doing everything I can to just maintain low levels of stress chill out not get too worked up about stuff and just go um, I had a couple days where I kind of noticed my body feeling it a little bit of um, stress some bloating um, it's also like the week before my period is supposed to be, which like I said, um, I actually lost it the last cycle, but I still got all the symptoms. So I have been a moody dickhole with increased cravings, fatigue, and some bloat. Yay! But I'm looking on the bright side because at least during my actual show will be like the perfect time um, where like my quote cycle would have um landed or been it's gonna be the time i'm gonna have like the least amount of like cravings blow fatigue 
all that stuff. So that'll be really, really good. Time that perfect. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I cried during posing today because I'm going to cry again. I just can't believe that. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus, get yourself together. Hormones. <laughs> I just can't believe that I like I look like this and it's like all of the hard work and like the dedication and sacrifices and just the freaking grind has been worth it and everything that I was like worried about not coming together or not looking right, like <laughs> looks good things are coming together so good and I have abs and delts and yeah I am just and I feel really good like way better than I thought I would feel and I'm just I'm blessed and I'm lucky and these next two weeks are going to fly by and I can't wait and I'm so excited and it's just Things are good, guys. Things are good. So I will see y'all in the next one two weeks out. <laughs>